I've been working at Austin Energy for 18 years. Now I've worked at Austin Energy for over 12 years. I'm coming up on my seventh year. 11 years now. I've worked at Austin Energy for seven years. I've worked at Austin Energy 12 years. Austin Energy is celebrating 125 years of serving our community. We are community owned, and because of that, we provide value, not only to our customers, but to all the communities that we serve. We're not some private company that can do you know, whatever we want. We're part of the city of Austin, and the customers from the city of Austin have expectations of us. You meet so many different people. The customers are from all different walks of life from all over the world. It gives me a good feeling because you know you're helping a paying customer out. They like the power being on. We're a strong pillar, we're stable, we bring innovation to the community, and we're here to stay. What's usually considered the beginnings of Austin Energy is when the dam was completed in 1893. People were delighted to have a lake. There had been no lakes of all, at all in Central Texas. Now they have this beautiful lake. And that was also the foundation of the water and electric power utility owned and controlled by the city. There were so few people here back when it started that no big utility from Dallas or Houston would come here and build an electric utility plant, so we did it ourselves. The upshot is that Austin is one of relatively few cities that has a municipally owned utility and has had relatively low rates throughout its 125 year history and had a sense that the people of Austin controlled their own fate. I think Austin Energy is a giant benefit to the city. Instead of sending money to shareholders, they send it back into the services that they provide. We are so surrounded by electric lights all the time. People have no conception of how dark it was just every night. So they wanted to provide electric street lighting. The famous moonlight towers were erected around the city and they spread the light over a wide area. They didn't have street lights. They had these big towers. That was our town lighting. Austin stuck with the tower lights long enough that they became a nostalgic object of interest to people. And over the years, we started out with 31 towers. We're down to 17. They were registered as a Texas historical landmark. Now it's actually a historical piece that's being preserved. There's been a Zilker tree on the Moonlight Tower for 53 years. Well, the Zilker tree is 155 feet tall, so it's no small feat to install the lights, and the work starts months in advance. And there are 3,300 lights. But the genius was the man that figured how to space, especially the yellow, bulbs moving up one socket to where it's spiral. Austin Energy has been a leader in renewable energy, wind and solar, and plug-in vehicles. The city of Austin is going more towards green power. There's always new technology and something new to learn every day, for sure. We've been doing energy efficiency since the 1980s. People just want us to be out there on that cutting edge doing those things. The city has grown so much in the last, I'd say, probably 20 years. I mean, it's crazy. People are coming to Austin in droves. Austin's growing at such a high rate that we, we need to try to uh, keep up with the power usage and giving them what they need. Our employees are the pillar of this organization. We wouldn't be able to drive customer value and energy services without these dedicated employees. That's good. The one thing I love about working at Austin Energy is that they look out for not just the customer, but also their employees. These guys here are like family. I mean, we work with one another so many hours throughout the day, you know, that, that we build that relationship with one another. I want a nice cool band when you come in on that junction. Yeah. yeah. Best job in the world. <laughs> you can't beat this stuff. Austin Energy is Austin's greatest asset. It's been publicly owned for 125 years. If you're out and about town and you ask somebody where their electricity comes from, they don't know. 
They don't know who Austin Energy is. I think it's really important to share their history.